welcome back to my channel it is amazing to have you here with me um, if you haven't yet subscribed to me then don't forget press subscribe and keep up to date with everything that I do so today is an empties video um, it's huge I'm going to try really really hard to get through it as fast as I can um, it's about two months I just I didn't get a chance last month to do it it's my own December so it's literally like two months worth of products um, so yeah Stay tuned, there's some products I love, there's some products I did not like, so let's kick it off. Full size, I wouldn't even give this away, it's disgusting, so that's going straight in the bin. Let's kick it off. Right, so the first one was the bubble tea, and it was their Stardust Foaming Bath Powder in Rose. This was absolutely lovely, turned my bath kind of pink and um, it smelled absolutely amazing so so good definitely would buy their like foaming bath powders again loved it loved it i'm not i do like a bubble bath but sometimes i'm fighting bubbles so i definitely prefer um the foaming powder okay next i have the glowing vacation um, Frank Body um, Coffee Coconut Scrub. Um, I really, really like this. Um, it just makes a mess. I love a really good scrub, as we are aware. I'm a scrub freak. Um, the coffee scrubs, the tea scrubs, are one of my favourite scrubs because they're so coarse. I really like a good hard scrub. Um, they're really good for tanning as well. So if I want to like tan my legs, You've got to exfoliate first, so I literally scrub it, the hell out of it with a tea or coffee scrub, and then I moisturise it, and then the next day we do, I tan. So, yeah, um, love it, definitely buy. I have hundreds of them, and I just, I use them every month. I use, I use, I use the scrub virtually every other day. Right, so we have a very lovely gold um, Fix and Rouge Renew, uh, Renew, refine pore detox and it's their revival serum it's the hydro pore um, it is very very nice it lasts forever because it's such a big tube i don't know if it's about 20 mil 30 mil i really really like this and um, it smelled very nice it's kind of I, I can't i could never put an actual i couldn't tell you what sort of scent it was but it's a very, very light. It's gel based. It's like a see through gel. So it's very, very kind of hydrating. Um, it lasts forever. It's lightweight as well. Um, and I really, really liked it. I, I did, I see a, I don't know necessarily if I saw a difference with it, but I did like it. Um, I'm not sure yet whether I would buy this again. Um, because I've moved on to a Figs and Rouge serum um, again. A, a um, hyaluronic but the other one's got pro collagen in and I think I can tell the difference between the two I think my skin looks so much better with the pro collagen so you might have to come back in a couple more time empties videos to see but I think at the moment I'm on the fence with this one because if the pro collagen is better then I think I would probably go with that one so I wouldn't necessarily buy it it's very expensive as well and if they do a good one a better one in the same brand it makes sense. So this was the Ayumi, Ayumi, and it's their hydrating sandalwood and aloe vera facial toner. It's lactic acid and hyaluronic acid. I really, really like this as well. Now it's again, it's a very, very lightly. I've got it on my nails. Very, very lightly scented. Um, and this one I didn't find. Um, some of them I find really soapy. I'm using one at the moment and it's, it's just very, very soapy and it kind of bubbles up as well. So I'm not keen on it. This one didn't. Um, so far I've used a scrubs of these as well from this brand and I've been really, really impressed. And as well, it is vegan approved, cruelty free. And this was a little kind of 50 mil sample size. I would definitely try the bigger size. Now, bubble tea again. This was their Earl Grey bath salts. Um, so a whole packet, I think the packet was about 50 mil, something like that. 50 grams, mils, grams. I can't find it. Um, and it was, like I say, it's the salts. So it goes in the bath and just kind of everything melts. And bath salts and soaks are supposed to be good as well for sore muscles. Um, 
I love Earl Grey tea. And it smells better in the pack than what it did in the bath. It just, it didn't smell. So yeah, I would not buy that again. It just, if you're going to make a bath soak with a, a, a fragrance, I want to be able to smell that fragrance. So no, not for me. Um, I tried the O'Keeffe's Healthy Feet and it is their foot cream and it's for extremely dry and cracked feet. It's unscented, it's non-greasy, it's hypoallergenic and it's 30 grams. I think that's full size. It's wonderful. I've been using it for months. Um, I work in hotels, I'm on my feet. My feet are trashed for all the years of abuse of running around in restaurants and being busy. And yeah, I just, I put loads on, socks on, went to bed, up in the morning, my feet are kind of not not greasy, but all still kind of slippery. And um, wash them off, you know, shower socks, and within a couple of days, my heels just started to just heal. So yeah, definitely buy it again. Um, and I do have another foot brand cream to try, so we shall see and compare. Um, this one here was really random. I got it about two years ago, and it's Ted Baker body spray, and it's more like a spritz. It's absolutely lovely. It's, lovely. Oh. it's really, really nice. It's a very light scented rose, and it's you couldn't use it as a perfume. Um, it wouldn't stay all day. But if you just want like a little kind of spritz in the morning and you're out, or you need to nip out somewhere quick and you want to smell nice, I loved it. I kept it at my desk at work, and then eventually I brought it home and just popped it in my handbag. What about it again? I would buy it as a perfume rather than a spritz, like a body mist. That's what I would, because it smelled lovely. Right, what have we got here? So this was a scrub, um, and it's a Hyogens, and it was um, organic body scrub, and it's a vegan no animal testing it was 100 ml it's a product of france or italy and it was sent to me um by dutch monique um for my birthday i believe i think i got it in a birthday box from her and um, if you've not checked her channel out nip over and um, check her out she's lovely really really lovely um her channel's amazing very similar to me um i like this scrub I like this scrub a lot. It was, I don't know if you can see a little bit, but it was gel, which was great. The cream scrubs, you, you, it's really hard to get a cream scrub right. Cream scrub right. So this is a gel scrub with scrubby beads. Um, these little beads, they're only small on here, but they're really, really coarse. And it's just like sand. Oh, it's, it's that hard scrub I like. Can you tell? I'm literally like, oh, sand. Like Homer Simpson, aren't they? Donuts. Anyway, <laughs> um, loved it. Would definitely buy it again, 100%, and would be more than happy to get it again. I've got loads for you, loads. I'm gonna do these as a twosome, because that's how I use them. I've had a lot of baths in the last two months. I'm usually a shower person. I think I was just stocking up so much on bath stuff. So this is Kiss the Moon, and I got it from a latest in beauty, um, and it was the Dream Bath Time Bath Salts, they were 50 grams, and in the same, it was, um, yeah, Dream, I thought I got the wrong one then. So it was a lavender and bergamot, and in the same, they do a, a Dream After Dark Bath Oil, and it came in this tiny, tiny, little glass which I will recycle um, and it was their sort of sample because I think you've got three of them to try and yeah it was three mil and I loved it I went overkill on lavender I was poorly cold so I was like lavender bath salts lavender bath oil really really nice I'd never heard of kiss the moon I would definitely buy the bath salts again because the bathroom smelled lovely and um, it was a bit like overkill thankfully there was only sort of three mil of the oil otherwise I think I'd be lavendered her out I slept lovely though um, and the oil I'm not really one for like I don't really see what much an oil does I was a bit like um but I liked it skin came out really really nice and we'll move on because I had another one which was a rose frankincense and yang ylang and I love that too the smell was gorgeous so 
kiss the moon is definitely worth trying. Now, I have this, which is the Fome. It's the box for the Fome um, shampoo bar. And it comes on a string. Um, and it's a really good size, like, like that size. It's a really awkward shape, though. I can't explain to you. So, it kind of cups in, so you can do that. But it's got a little bubble on the inside. And when it's brand new, it was hurting my head. My head's not overly sensitive. I think it's sensitive here where the roots are. Well, there's roots everywhere, but like the top of my roots. It was really, really sensitive and kept kind of like hurting my head. My little boy loved it. I don't know if you can see, but that's the circle I'm on about. It's just like a solid circle of soap. My little boy loved it. Um, little boy, the 10 year old, when he was having showers, he liked the fact that it was kind of, he was just using it as an all in one. Um, which is when I stopped using it, <laughs> obvious reasons. And um, I didn't overly like it. At the moment, I like the idea of the shampoo bars, but I haven't found one yet that has made me want to convert. That one didn't. Um, the Oscar London Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I've had this before. I absolutely love it. It just works back in my empties. It's great for taking off um, makeup, especially that waterproof mascara and eyeliner that I use. Um, I really, really like it. Would 100% buy it again um, and would use it loads. I only tend to use it though, like I say, when I've got makeup on. Right. There's a jewel. Is there a jewel in here? Yes, there is. So there is a duo of the shampoo and conditioner. This is the Charles Worthington Takeaways. It's Diamond Shine Conditioner for Weightless Mirror Shine and for Weightless Mirror Shine Shampoo. And they were like a, came in a beauty box. I like the fact that it was both shampoo and conditioner. Um, I like Charles Worthington. Now, I was never... Um, introduced to the products before I started getting boxes and everything I've had I've absolutely loved um, I would definitely definitely get these again um, they do a like a volumizing one I think I would get the volumizer I don't need extra shine not really but I like the volume one. I've tried the volumizing ones before the shine and I like I prefer those so I wouldn't necessarily get the shine ones but I would get the volumizing ones from his products Right, Rodion, great brand, great brand. This was their Bee Venom Cleansing Balm. Hated it, <laughs> straight out, hated it. So it's yellow, which was nice. Smelled quite nice, lovely. It's just too thin. Um, Like the Renaissance one's got a bit of substance to it. This was very thin and kind of, even if I shook it beforehand, and I tell you what, it struggled. It struggled with my waterproof mascara. It just didn't like it. So it says, um, B Venom Cleansing Balm, Balm to Toner, Brightening Formula, um, Vitamin C. Instructions, gently massage a small amount onto dry face and neck and rinse with warm water. Yeah, it just, as a cleansing balm, it wasn't strong enough. Um, and as a everyday cleanser, I don't use an, like an oil-based one every day. So, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, so I've got the Rituals, the Art of Sakura, and this is their shampoo and conditioning duo, the sample. Um, I can't quite remember where I got this from either. Now, the Rituals of Sakura is my favorite, favorite scent lovely absolutely lovely which you must know because if you're watching my advent calendars i got a scrub from them and was over the moon <sighs> i don't i didn't see a difference not really with the shampoo it's a nice smell but i have i wasn't wowed like charles worthington i was really really surprised at how good it was rituals i for what it is i just expect it to be better so no even with that lovely scent, I wouldn't buy it again. I would be quite happy with my herbal essence, pink smelly one. So yeah, no. 
Um, the next one was a Dr. Botanicals. This was their lemon superfood all-in-one rescue butter. I really, really, really like this. I like this a lot to the point that I was literally like scraping the top all the way up, folding it over, trying to squeeze the ends out. I liked it. Now, the great thing about this rescue butter is you can use it for everything. So I was using it on dry skin, I was using it on my knees, I was using it on my elbows, which is unheard of for me to actually cream myself. Um, I was using it as a face cream a tiny little bit, especially like through November when it was really, really cold. I used it in October, I'm sure this lasted like October, November, and then December. Um, and it's been really, really cold, really windy down here as well. And it was just, it just felt like ultimate protection. Really, really impressed. I couldn't use this in summer. It is too heavy. So, I mean, I always have like a winter cream and a summer cream. This is definitely winter. Would I buy it again? Yes. Hands down. Definitely. Um, so this is the Nourishing Shower Oil by Rituals. It's the Art of Ayurveda. I can never say that. Um, it was nice. It smelled lovely wasn't as good as my Sakura. Um, would I buy it again? No, I didn't overly like it. I had a Nuxi shower oil and a, I think I've been spoiled. I had a Loctane, um, like that almond shower oil and I have not yet found anything that compares to that shower oil. It is amazing. So no, it was not as good. Sorry. Now, we have the um, Very Rose Gel Mask from Nuxi. Um, absolutely loved it. Oh my God, it smelled gorgeous. If you love rose, this, this is it. This is rose in a pot. Um, and it was there like one minute mask. And you just put it onto damp skin, massage and rinse. But my skin was so clean afterwards. Now I did this even after my, because obviously I'm a scrub freak and I'm a cleanser freak as well. I'm a double scrubber or a double cleanser as I say. I did it after that and um, it, my skin came out better than what it normally does anyway. So I'd hands down buy this. Hands down. Now. So this was a intellect oh, I can't say it intelligent nutrial nutrients plant stem cell science refining micro polish and it was a face scrub it smelled nice it smells it smelled like a bit sort of medicated um it was very very fine for me um so you play so this one's uh, non no the don't test on animals which is good um and you apply to damp face and neck and dentally massage it was just too um thin it the, there was more cream than what there was scrub so it defeat the purpose for me i know you're supposed to have something more gentle on your face and if you like a gentle scrub you'd like that but i don't like a gentle scrub which i know is not good for my skin but yeah, I know. Right. There is another coffee scrub. This was Bean Body. Um, peppermint. I didn't smell the peppermint. Um, I like this scrub. Apart from, it went gammy. Like, maybe I didn't use it quick enough or maybe I needed to get smaller ones but I didn't find I think I must have got water in it and I didn't maybe seal it I put my hand in one day and it was a bit slimy and it was just like yeah it's going out so the first couple of goes were fine but then yeah I think I ruined it um I I wouldn't buy it again because I like the delicious ones the tea scrubs and the frank body ones better but I wouldn't be angry if I got it but yeah, it went all slimy. I didn't even know coffee scrubs can go off. I think I must have just not used that coffee scrub. Usually if I get coffee scrub, I'm like, boom, it's gone within like a week of me opening it. But that was hanging around for about three weeks, maybe, maybe four. And like I say, when I went back in to get it, I was like, oh, why is it slimy? So I definitely must have got water in it. Um, 
So this is the Natura Siberica and it is their Northern Soap for Deep Facial Cleansing. I loved it. I, can't, I loved it that much that the pot is clean, like ridiculously clean. It smells amazing, like almondy, sort of nutty. It is vanillary as well. It's lovely. And it is a pot of soap that's like black, um, black sort of like dark grey actually. And I have great enjoyment painting my face with it. So literally paint like a face mask and then just start adding water and rubbing. Add water, rubbing. It was lovely. I can use it as a flannel. I used it with like a muslin cloth. I used it just with my hands as a wash. I really, really love it. And to have another one, so I'm over the moon, over the moon. Um, I would 100% buy this again, 100% buy it again. I thought it was really, really nice. And if you're not kind of, if you've got, some people are old school and like soaps. I go through phases. I like soap, I don't like soap. I like soap, I don't like soap. Um, if you're old school, you'll love it because it's a, it's a movable, like manipulative, palatable. It's just, yeah, it's, it's like a, a balm soap, but without the oil. Um, and if you don't like soap, you would like it. I think you would like it anyway because it's so different to soap. I loved it. Loved it. <sighs> Clarins. I really wanted to love it. I hated it. Hated it. It is their mask cream. Um, Hydra Quench Cream Mask for Dehydrated Skin. Um, 30 ml, this rich mask delivers an intense hydration boost um, for the thirstier skin. Apply on the face and neck, leave for five to 10 minutes and remove with cotton pads soaked in toning lotion. Um, I don't use cotton pads, I use the um, fabric ones. So I went for a bath, face was ready to rock, put it on, sat in the bath. And I was just like getting this sort of like tingly, like burning. No, it didn't. Well, yeah, burning, I suppose, is the best word sort of sensation. I sat there and I'm thinking, is my bath really, really that hot that the steam is burning my face? Because I like a hot bath, like to the point where I'm like trying to get in and like my top of my leg, I've got this inch myself in centimeter by centimeter like oh, i'm burning like my ass is on fire and then once i'm in and everything's cooled down i top the bath up i'm terrible literally it wasn't on my face for three minutes and i was literally sat in the bath i'm like this has got to come off so i washed all my face down jumped out looked in the mirror bright red bright red for it it looked like i had a sheet mask of redness on my face um it just yeah my my face hated it it's going in the bin it's full it's awful i could I just i don't know whether it was just too strong i have no idea i've never had any masks like that ever kind of mess with my skin or or um affect it so much but yeah it took about an hour to kind of get my skin and even after that here where it's sensitive i must have gone a little bit too high um but where it's really sensitive here was still sort of red for about sort of three three fingers just a little red streak so never again never again right so i got the wow duo shampoo um color security conditioner i would definitely buy these again i just think it gave me a lot better color and um, with that though i also use the um i tried the pro Vogue touch of silver obviously i've got blonde hair so i want to take the brassiness out of it um so i've used this i liked it it's not a good it's not as good as the fudge one um uh, but the shampoo tended to keep the blonde blonder for longer so I didn't have to use as much of this I would buy that again and I would definitely buy these again because it just like I say it locked in the color for longer so once I did my purple toning usually I do it once a week I could get a week and a half easily two weeks without having to kind of put purple toner back on toner shampoo feel like I'm rambling just like what, like 25 minutes into it and I've still got some items left. Now, 
Madara. Great brand. This is their um, re -gen regenerating night cream. I absolutely love this. It's vegan, plant-based. Um, the tube is ocean waste um, plastic cap. So it was 25 mil and it was for all skin types and it just smells like vitamin C. Like utter goodness in a tube. It's got like a really kind of, I don't think you're going to see anything. It's got like um, a really kind of like yellowy buttermilk kind of colour to it. Um, almost like buttery cups. So it just, it felt, it smelled like vitamins. It looked like vitamin C. My skin loved it loved it put it on at night time went to bed woke up skin had taken it all it was amazing i would definitely definitely buy this again hands down now let's talk about this this is the worst product i have ever 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 come across and used my goodness me, it is the Hangover Hair Elixir. Um, Irish whiskey for unreal shine. The packaging is bloody amazing. Oh my God, little cap, it unscrews. It's lovely. It is super thin and greasy. Just smells lovely. So literally, I'm going to insert some footage in a minute of me using this because I could not believe, I can't even get it off my hands, I'm going to have to rub it on something. Ugh. Um, so, hair oil. Couldn't, couldn't, just, I was that gobsmacked. I got out of the shower, went to have a shower, came back, hair oil. Put some on my hands as I normally do. I always rub it on my hands first, rubbed it in, thought, Christ, this is sort of, thin took a bit of excess off and then just started putting it over over the lens towel dried you know blow dried my hair my god awful awful i couldn't even dry my hair properly now on both i've used it twice to make sure that i didn't put too much the first time and the second time i tried it again um couldn't dry my hair fully at all it would just my hair dries within five minutes it's ridiculous my hair dries within 10 minutes of being air dried let alone dried with a hair dryer and afterwards i was like it was just the worst limp lifeless greasy hair i have ever seen i literally looked like i dipped my hand in chip fat i was that i could i had to put my hair up because there was no way, usually if I wash my hair, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to keep my hair down today. My hair's great. And my hair's up usually on the second day um, because it never usually lasts. Without dry shampoo, it never lasts more than two days, my hair. I had to put it up straight away. And I'll tell you what, if I was going out and I was meeting somebody, like if I'm going to go meet friends or, you know, go to if I was going to work, then there's no two ways I would have to have gone and washed my hair again. It was disgusting. Now, I'm going to put some footage in now for you to see. So the lighting's not great, but look at my hair. I have washed this hair this morning and it looks wet. It's not, it's dry. I used a new hair oil and it is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Look at it, it's like chip fat. It is so bad. It's a good job we're in lockdown and I can't go anywhere because I'd have to go and rewash this hair again. It is utterly minging. I, oh my God. It's not even drying. So the back of my hair is still wet. Up here is still wet. And underneath is still wet. And I've been, my hair, it dries in an instant, an absolute instant. It takes me less than five minutes to dry my hair and just done. Now, I went upstairs trying to dry this for nearly 10 minutes, which is just ridiculous. But look at it, you can actually see in each individual greasy strand. Disgusting. Okay, so this is try number two of this Hangover Hair Elixir. I thought um, I gave it a go first time round. You should have seen the footage. It was, it was awful, awful. 
So I've come away, had to rewash my hair the next day and thought I'd give it another go. Not that I used a lot the first time, but I used less the second time. And still, look, my hair is disgusting. It is awful. This is dry. Does it look dry? No. Does it look greasy? Yes. So, um, yeah, for my hair, this thing is awful. Absolutely awful. It's going in the bin. Not impressed at all. Just terrific. It's awful, isn't it? So this is a full size. I wouldn't even give this away. It's disgusting. So that's going straight in the bin. Um, yeah, goodbye. Never again. I did, however, use this, which was the Moroccan oil. And it's the um, Moroccan oil treatment, 25 ml. I love this. Now, I don't usually need a lot of hair oil, to be fair. Um, I obviously use a mask which is my favourite one, it's in the box, it's coming now and it is the last product <laughs> and um, yeah, I usually wash my hair if I'm doing my mask then I don't need a hair oil on the next day I usually do a hair mask maybe once or twice a week and sort of every two days in between that then if I wash my hair I use some hair oil just to kind of give it a bit of shine and obviously it's coloured so sometimes the ends get a bit kind of like not crunchy but crispy they just they just need a little bit of love here and there i absolutely love this i absolutely loved it i can't tell you how much a tiny tiny drop and in comparison to that crap that went in the bin and um, it was the tiniest sort of dunk, tiny spot um, to be fair, I used a tiny spot the second time around on the foot on that and it was awful. And then, then you just warmed it up in your hands. So my hands were then covered with it and it was just in, in, down the ends, done. Absolutely lovely. I would hands down buy this. And to be fair, I'm thinking about buying the full size version of it because that was just a little sample, I think. But I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now, the last thing in the pot, or the last thing in the box is my pot. Um, as you know, I'm not going to spend too long on it because you guys have must be inundated with me rambling on about it. It is the Silk and Bubble Your Main Attraction Super Nourish Nourishing Hair Growth Mask. Absolutely love it. They've changed the packaging. The problem is when they change the packaging as well, is I stock up. So I've got two in the shower at the moment. Um, and I think I've got one on the shelf somewhere over there. <laughs> Um, I shock up, stock up when it's been on sale and it was on sale for like 60% off the other week. The other week, end of November, 60% off. So yeah, I um, had some myself, hence why I stock up and I absolutely love it. Uh, I use it two to three times a week. No, I use it one to two times a week. Um, Massive Pot does me sort of 11 kind of hair masks and they're sort of usually good hair masks my hair smells like coconut it's lovely and it's got all it's cruelty free it's not tested on animals it's gluten free phthalates sulfates parabens all the rest of it um yeah you know about this if you're my subscriber because i've just done it as a thousand subscriber giveaway and um, yeah love it will i get it again yes but i don't need to for at least another three months and that was it that was loads of things, loads of things. And I've already started for December. So I've got December's box down there, which has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things in it already, which is good. Thank you so much for staying with me. I told you at the beginning it was going to be a long one. There are things that I have loved. There's things that I was, oh, I don't think I'm, you know, like the fix of rouge. I'm not going to buy it if they're going to do a decent one anyway. Um, and there's things that I wouldn't touch with a barge pole ever again. And I definitely, if I had a worst enemy, I wouldn't even give it to them either, which is that goddamn hair elixir. So, now we leave. <laughs> Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll have a chat in the comments. Is there anything that you've seen that um, you're like, yes, I fully agree with you. Or like, that woman is crazy. I do not. You know, I love this product. How can you not? So we'll have a chat. Take care. Bye.